Hello and welcome to the first behind the scenes of Audition. I'm really excited to share some of the creative process involved in the film with as minimal of me talking to you guys as possible because we recorded enough, I feel, not for me to have to tell you but to show you. So, without further ado... Jamie? Oh. Alright. How you doing? Yeah, I thought it was playing, but it wasn't just me just doing that. <laughs> this is Elf. First time I've been here since Jamie showed me the room. It's now looking very grey, evil. Is that a table? No, that's a, uh, that's a radiator. No, oh, that's going to be the radiator. Yeah, there, there will be a table. I, I like what you've done with like the breeze box. Well, actually, it looks it's like oh, it's metal, isn't it? Yeah. This is a very new territory for me because for one I'm obviously going back to my horror thriller roots uh, which I uh, developed when I first started filmmaking but this is also a screenplay that I did not write myself and generally speaking I have written my own screenplay so to work with someone else's material, Richard Anthony Dunford, it means I have this creative component to respond from, to bounce off of and a new story to tell. And I've said it once, I'll say it forever. I'm here to tell stories. And this is the story that I am telling you next. And this is how we constructed the story. So that you could be like into that little cove there for yeah. them, so yeah. you can get it as far back so as possible. If they came forward a tiny bit, you can just have somewhere, especially if that light's on, we can just put a diffuser on it, if need be, and then we can have a reflector here. And just kind of like getting a tiny bit behind the main. Let's have a look. Good tag. We ordered a lot of the props over Christmas, so it was really tough to. Um, well, not tough for us, but nerve wracking about whether the stuff would actually arrive in time. And luckily, it did. Um, so filming went ahead, which is fantastic. The producer's steampunk uh, top, which is quite a nice little design. Uh, my thought add steampunk edged her uh, as a slightly more more a psychopath than the actual main murderer, which is interesting. That's my thought anyway. There's going to be a few of these. Uh, we're going to be releasing one each month. Um, going through the entire production process like we did with Husky but this time it's going to be a bit more exciting because obviously the practicalities of filming this, this was actually shot three days in a row uh, which was incredibly tough especially because I was ill um, but it meant that we had the actors, they were in character um, with the character essentially for three days going through this journey with them. Hello, it's day one, it's New Year's Eve and we're here on the set, we're making the uh, set for the last bit of the film. Over there you see we've just put the membrane up for the 